August man is accused of choking an MBTA bus driver in a fit of rage. The attack was so violent, police say another passenger had to step in and help the driver. The 59-year-old was getting off at Lincoln Ave when he and the driver exchanged words, and it escalated from there. Bobby Sisk is live in Boston tonight with more on this story. Bobby? Well, Kate, the suspect was arrested here at the Haymarket station of the T this morning. Just after he bonded out this afternoon, he admitted to me that he made a mistake, but he says the driver was also at fault. The trouble started with a ride on the Route 426 bus. I take the bus. This guy was really speeding. Franco Contino says he saw a woman almost fall when the bus operator slammed on his brakes. When I got off the bus, I told him, I said, look, you're driving this bus like like it was a car. You know, maybe I wasn't that nice when I said it. The bus driver wasn't sure what he meant by that and inquired, and uh, that's when the uh, Mr. Contino engaged him almost in a staring contest. That was here along Lincoln Avenue in Saugus. The driver started to take off. That time, Mr. Contino came up out of the stairwell and uh, physically began um, strangling the bus driver. I, I just lost. Did you grab his neck? Did you get I did. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I wasn't really choking him, but it was like more to say, you know, what are you doing? Contino claims the driver spit in his direction, setting him off. Two witnesses dispute that. One of those actually jumped up and pulled Contino away. We asked people to see something and say something, but he actually saw something, but also did something. When this happened last Thursday, the T was just two days out from launching a new campaign aimed at protecting staff. Contino, the 16th charge this year with assaulting a T employee. But don't get me wrong, they do have a tough job. They go through a lot. He maintains he was provoked, but is sorry for how he reacted. I regret the way I handled it. The bus driver was not injured. There, there were cameras on board that bus, so there is some video at the time of the attack, but investigators are not releasing that. Contino will appear in Lynn District Court tomorrow. I'm live in Boston tonight. Bobby Sisk, WBZ News. Kate, back to you. All right, Bobby, thank you for that.